Hello everyone. It is a pleasure to be here and to speak with you, to you, and explain to you uh, one of the topics I would like to gift, to give, to offer to the World Dignity University Initiative. My name is Evelyn Lindner. I'm the founding president of the Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network and one of the initiators of the World Dignity University Initiative. Um, I have written a book and uh, it's, I would like to present to you my f the first book I have uh, written. It is in 2006 and I would like to offer a course or a seminar on that book to you if you are interested. Mm, the book's title is Making Enemies, Humiliation and International Conflict and it grew out of the doctoral research on uh, humiliation and war that I carried out. I uh, went to Rwanda and Somalia and uh, asked the question, does humiliation have any connection with war and genocide in Rwanda and Somalia as it has in the history of Europe? And this is the book that, uh, that uh, came out of this work, the first book. And I would like to uh, read to you a uh, um, summary, just a very short summary of this book. First, this book lays out a theory of the mental and social dynamics of humiliation and proposes the need for egalization. This is a word I coined to match the word, the term globalization. In my work, I call uh, on us all to humanize globalization through egalization. And what is egalization? It is the true realization of equality and dignity. The true realization of the first sentence of the, the um, Human Rights Declaration, which says every human being is born equal in dignity and rights. So egalization is the true realization of this sentence. It is the um, undoing of humiliation. So uh, this book starts out with um, laying out a theory of the mental and social dynamics of humiliation, proposes the need for egalization. So I draw it together to say we need glob egalization. We have globalization, but we, we, this is not enough. We need glob egalization or glob egalization. Uh, the need for egalization for a healthy global society. It then presents chapters on the role of misunderstandings in fostering feelings of humiliation. You know, many feelings of humiliation arise on the background of pure misunderstandings. But I think we have to become more aware of that, especially as the world grows together and we meet people from other cultures. We are used to converse with people from our own cultural Rome and you know there we don't have to be so aware of that because we usually speak the same language, have the same kind of cultural codes. But as soon as we pe meet people from other cultural Romes, we have to learn to wait and to stay in uncertainty, uncertain, you know, stay in the fear of not knowing and, and, and trying to find out, exploring. This is extremely important to then the role of humiliation in international conflict is one of the topics in that book and the relationship of humiliation to terrorism and torture. The book concludes with a discussion of how to diffuse feelings of humiliation and create a dignified world. If you are interested in having a course or a seminar on uh, this, these topics and to take this book as a textbook for that course, Please click on this video and uh, as soon as I have around 10 people from all over the world being interested, uh, we will then make the next step and devise a face-to-face -face and online seminar and workshop and course. Thank you very much.